The single biggest change in our lifetime is the increased numbers of aged individuals and it's only going to become more of an issue for our society and we're not prepared for it. And so what we need to do is we need to understand how we can better manage the health of older people. And the most important way to manage health is themselves through nutrition and exercise. So the more that can be done to improve the quality and the quantity of life it is going to be fundamental for not only today but for the next generation and generations beyond. One of the things that's really evident in ageing is how diverse the population becomes. So you've got really healthy 80 year olds who are out there embracing life and society and really you know shaking the life by its horns and the other group of people are really suffering in terms of chronic illness and, and morbidity and mortality. And so what we need to do is we need to understand what successful uh, ages do and what success, uh, unsuccessful ages do. And then on that basis, try to identify strategies where we can shift one group, the unhealthy people, far more towards the healthy group. The ageing process starts much younger than we give credit for. So, you know, middle age is in fact the early warning signs of ageing. But there are so many immediate discoveries and things that we can do here and now that will have a significant impact on everything from cognitive function right through to mobility. And we've got to start tackling those questions today.